Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Coming up, it's our very first app recap. And we're going to tell some time. Ooh, plus, run Google Plus on your iPad and a tiny tower, too. All that, plus Leo's paper camera <laughs> on iPad Today. iPad Today is brought to you by Go to My PC. Your ability to stay mobile can be the key to your success. With Go to My PC, you can work from anywhere, anytime, right from your iPad. Download the free iPad app and visit gotomypc.com for your free 30 day trial. Use the promo code iPad. And by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, visit netflix.com slash twit. And by squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. For a free trial and 10% off your new account for six months, visit squarespace.com. And don't forget to use the offer code iPadToday7. It's iPad today time. <laughs> Leo Laporte. Look, it's i it's iPad today time. Leo Laporte here with Ms. Sarah Lyon. Hey Leo. Uh Hello. this is a really special episode. The first is because it's a palindrome episode, which we haven't had in eleven episodes. It's episode fifty five. Oh, so it's the same backwards and forwards. Yeah, so the last time mm. we had a palindrome episode was episode forty four. Some wow. of you may recall that was also a very momentous show. This is also it was, was it really? Well, I like palindrome episodes. It was momentous for me. Okay, you just, just remember. I might it. be the only You're, one. You vividly remember it. Right? Yeah, it was like it was yesterday, except yeah. that it was eleven weeks ago. Okay. This is also the last show in this here studio. Yeah, this dump that we call the Twit Cottage was <laughs> gone. All these cables. The that... Wreckers Ball is coming. Um, so so Friday the movers tomorrow the movers come. Yeah. I'm not well, gonna be here. Thank goodness. Did you pack your office? No, but there's not much to it. You I'm just gonna expect... throw everything in a filing cabinet. Oh, you're gonna do it though. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I'll mark everything. Okay, because I don't, you know, I'm not going to do that. No, I know. Yeah. There's nothing good up there. Okay, but I mean, if I find anything Some that I like boxes. and it's not packed, I'm going to take it. P take it. It's okay. yours. It's all. It all belongs to you anyway. <laughs> and then we're going to move it all down the street for two blocks. And then on Sunday, our first show will be Twit, 3 p.m. Pacific. Tune in about 2 p.m. if you want to watch the procession and the yeah. ceremony. We've got giant scissors. We have giant scissors. We have champagne. Champagne. We'll be wearing hats. I will anyway. Are you? Of course. Might as well. we got to take the hats, too. Yeah. So everybody should wear a hat as they yeah, go down. Yeah. The Twit Fez. The I'll fezzes. be rocking the Fez. Oh, yeah. We can all rock the Fez. The Fez Eye. Staff only on the Fezes. Yeah. Uh, we have 50 people waiting for us at the uh, other end who are in studio audience. We're going to do the show. But more importantly, iPad Today will be in its new studio next Tuesday. or Thursday. Thursday, yeah. Yeah. And we're going to do the living room set, which is also Beautiful. what we plan to do the social hour on. Right. We'll see what happens Monday morning. <laughs> yeah. Based on what happened Sunday. No, it'll work. It's it's all gonna be great. It's beautiful. It's all restoration hardware furniture. The beautiful. And we got a coffee table for you. We got a little box. We Ooh. got a iPad stands. Ooh. I know a lot of you wanted to give us good ideas for iPad stands. We'll talk about that in a little bit. We Leo, we got more feedback about what iPad stand to get. And, and thank you, by the way. Completely overwhelming. We couldn't yeah. I was like when they started coming in, I thought, oh, maybe we could do a roundup. We have like six hundred ideas. Yeah. And, and Liz, uh, Liz Romero, ended up finding one that she really liked. I yeah. think it was from all your suggestions, and that's what we got, and that's what you'll see. It uh, was it was based off a suggestion last Thursday in the in chat. So I think you're gonna you like the, the show better because you're gonna be able to see the. We we can do a picture in picture of your fingers, and then the. I mean, we've got. It's gonna be very pretty. We have capability to do a lot of stuff that we can't it. do now. I shouldn't oversell right. it. Right. It might actually be... Horrible. Pretty bad. Could be terrible. Uh, so if it is... In fact, I'm feeling sad already. I know. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm actually... I guess there's a nostalgia... Nah. Like because because of it's just that the new studio is so cool so nice. that I'm not feeling weird about leaving this. Well, Sarah, that worked in TV for a long time at Tech TV. You worked at G4. You've worked at Cron uh, here in the city. You worked true. a lot of great TV yes. stations. I've worked uh, at NBC and PBS. Yeah, I've, we've, I, have, I don't know about you yet, but I, I'll be curious what you have to say. To me, this is the nicest television studio I've ever worked in. Ever. It's, I mean, better than any network studio. It, it, there, there's, it is network quality, but with state-of-the-art equipment and 
way fewer people necessary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of it is mm -hmm. like, guess what? You don't need 40 people in a control room. That's what I was thinking the, the other day. We were, built, we were recording something with basically two or three people. Most of our shows will have one or two people besides the host doing the show. Right. Instead of exactly 40 it's just, uh, it's crazy. It's, it's a revolution. It's, and in television, as you know, it's like everyone has a very important job. It's not as if people are hired to do nothing, but it just doesn't have to be that complicated. Yeah. And that's the beauty of what we do now, yeah. and that's why I love it. It's going to be great. I'm very yeah. excited. So we we actually, this today's theme, I was, <laughs> it gets harder and harder to think of new themes. I thought, oh, what should we do? What should we do? And I came across Anthony's video, and he made our decision for us. Anthony, hit it. Hey, Leo. Hey, Sarah. Um, I was wondering if you guys for a show theme could do... Um, an app recap, or that's what I call it. Um, <laughs> talk about all the different apps you've uh, ever talked about during all your shows. Maybe, or if not that, maybe a couple from each category. Uh, that'd be a real big help for all the people who just got new iPads. And I just got my iPad a couple weeks ago. Oh, that's great. I love it. Everything on it. It's just great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks. Bye. Anthony He's made so app recap. It's Ooh, an app I didn't think of that. That's great. Now, okay, so obviously we can't talk about every app that we've talked about right now. That would be silly. But well, I thought... and you could. We've done 55 shows, but you could watch any one of them by going to twit.tv slash IPT. That's They're true. They're all still there. The shows they? are archived. We don't throw them out. They're even better with age. Yeah. Because you go, oh, look at them. They're when they had the first gen iPads, they, they didn't so know young. what they were My talking hair about. Gray. Right. I yeah. was like, you know, 13 yeah. when we started the show. Yeah. Uh, so Anthony, you can also look for the great, there was about a six week period where she was pregnant and hid the baby bump very well. <laughs> and I know that's really kind of a sport for people to, to see. Six weeks, huh? Well, it was a short, it was a brief. That's break. awkward. <laughs> it went fast. And then she wasn't. <laughs> and it went very fast. No, it went very fast. No, I wasn't. Oh, God. Let's, oh, Leo. What, what is our, our What is our app cap today? Okay, our so Anthony, today. thank you. The app recap, I decided to go back into our archives and pick a topic we haven't talked about in a while. <sighs> Alarm clocks, because to this day, the iPad still does not have a nice native one. So it's okay, you're going to recover. You just need a minute. I'm going to regret you're, it is what I'm going to do. Well, you already, you already do. It's okay. So let's talk about the Let's talk about uh, let's, the fact <laughs> let's talk that about, uh, let's talk the, about the iPad clocks. doesn't come with two things. It should be. One is a calculator. That's right. The other is a clock, for crying out loud. Alarm clock. I still put my iPhone by the bed every night. Well, I actually haven't lately because I've gotten into alarm clocks on the iPad. But that is the way that I've been doing it for years because well, the why iPad would, just didn't have a good Okay, way. so I posted a thing on Google Plus saying we, we're looking for apps yeah. for the alarm clock. And, and right. first of all, about half the people said, we just use the one that's on the iPad. So people don't even know that there isn't one. But then people ask, and this is the question I have to you, why, use, why don't you use, uh, use a clock? Why use your iPad? Well, because it's already a tool that you probably have. I mean, I read it's in, got music in bed on it. before I go to sleep. It's got access to internet radio. Yeah, think about, a, think about a clock radio. Okay, well, if you are using like an FM tuner or something, maybe you have a favorite radio station, a morning show, that sort of thing. That's fine. But you can access a lot of that stuff on your iPad too. And your, your, your choices are much wider. I mean, you could listen to iPad today if you want to wake up in the morning based on a podcast. You can, uh, you can use this as a, a, an actual clock, not yeah. just a wake-up device, something yeah. that's, that you know, looks well, nice. Well, do you see? You can, I'll tell you what. The answer to the question really is, is, is encapsulated in, in our apps today because these are really slick. Now, just for our for, – what was his name, Nathan, the kid? Uh, Anthony. Anthony. Yes, we, if you go back and look at the last time we did this, we did the Emerald Observatory. We did some we Awaken, did. Progressive Bells. We did some really great, but we're not going to redo those. We've no. got all new alarm clocks. So today. we can actually revisit, we can, we can app recap with new apps. Right. So even though it's an old topic, it's a bunch of new stuff. And I've actually, can I start us off? Please Is that do. all right? Yeah. I, I think that something called Nightstand Central is the app to beat. Now, this should not be confused with Nightstand HD. Which was our, by the way, well, in, on out. Google Plus, the most... Oh, I can... Let me... Um, Turn me down a little bit. My iPad's yeah. hot like fire. Hot like fire. On Google, Post, on Google Plus, on Google Plus, we got 292 responses. And everyone thought Nightstand HD was the best, no, huh? No, half of them said there already is an alarm clock on the oh. iPad. <laughs> uh, about a third of them said, I use Android. The rest said, 
this nightstand HD. So we'll show you that. But but this, you say, this, this is better. It, it, in my opinion, nightstand central. Now, there is a free central. version. I am using the, the version that is $2.99. So you do have a choice. You'll see with the clocks This is on more this. fully amazing. featured. amazing. Okay, so this is... Well, that's nice. Yes. This, so this is my time of day. I'm in Petaluma nice. because I, I've turned on my location. It's got my weather. So there's a bunch of stuff. I also have pictures that rotate every five seconds in the background based on, I don't know, pictures that I like type of thing. Mm -hmm. Now, if I wanted to, let's say, um, change the size of the widget, you know, I could I could shrink the clock down so I could see uh, more of my pictures, mm -hmm. which is, you know, that depending on what you want. Ooh, that's Tahoe. You know, that sort of thing. You don't have to have your pictures rotate <laughs> this frequently. I just wanted to show it for this purposes. But, okay, so this is just a clock, right? Like a pretty clock well no it's much more oh no if you go into the information area which is in the lower right you get into your alarm section mm. so if i go into alarm this is where it gets really fun so uh Look at i have these great backgrounds too yeah the, well those are just, those are my pictures oh, oh those are pictures using that your i pictures. loaded from my photo library like that's fine art although they do have a bunch of stock i was wondering how, how, how paris lemon could have appeared in, in the, and my in cat the, in the like himself <laughs> I just like to embarrass my family. Yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, okay, so there's, a, there's an alarm. Is that you on the wall there? Uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was in India. Your chin? That's yeah, cute. It's fun. Yeah. All right, so let's say that I want to edit uh, an alarm. So I'm going to wake up at 8 a.m. tomorrow. I want the sound to be what I want the sound to be. Well, if I go into the sound area, this these are amazing. a bunch of default yeah. sounds. So birds, flowing yeah. water. Tons I picked of I picked church bells because I thought, oh, that'd be nice. I love Dial that. up modem, you know, if you just want to. But wanna... you're not stuck with. Dial up modem like. Oh. Yeah, exactly. But you're not you're not stuck with stuff. Yeah, no, I, I don't know why stuck. anybody would want I, that, but I, I guess wake you up. So <laughs> it would wake you up, all right. If you go over to the music area, boing, boing. this gets cool. You can add any music that's in your library, and what you can also do mm. is wake up to uh, <laughs> podcasts. <laughs> Which is, wow. it's a little bit more... You could wake up to us. Yeah, you could wake up to us. Wow. What you can also do, so, and then, <laughs> and actually I should really mention, so I actually used um, the church bells and I decided to fade in the sound over a minute's time so it like starts really low I like that and it too. Kind of That's what up. Progressive did and I really like that. I don't want to wake up abruptly. Except, you know what happened? What? Because I just am a weird sleeper. Yeah. I just dreamt about church bells for like half an hour. That's not Because bad. they came in so If you had kitty cats, you'd dream about kitty cats. You should have meowing and purring. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, shut up. Let me sleep for another 15 yeah. minutes. Just stop oh, it. Oh, wait a minute. It's morning. What you can also do is set a lullaby. Um, I won't oh, go through all the features oh, here, but it's it's nice. not it's it's not as lullaby as you think. What what you do is you say, okay, so for the next let's say two hours and thirty minutes, I want to be listening to something and I want it to fade out nicely. If you if you show my iPad. Oh, I'm sorry. What was I showing? Well, you were showing me. Oh, I'd rather I'm look just, at you. Well, okay. yeah, I mean, there's just not is, much Is that a painting you took a picture of? It's a picture that was on a wall of a cafe I of superheroes. That. Yeah, I, I did too. Okay, so let's say in the lullaby section, I say, all right, so I want to be listening to podcasts or music or whatever for the next two hours and 30 minutes. I want to, you know, that sound will be at whatever level. Mm -hmm. and you go ahead and start. At this point, what you do is the timer will start and then you go into let's say uh, downcast and start listening to a podcast, listen to NPR yeah. or whatever, or yeah. listen to your new favorite, your Radiohead album, that is kind of downcast thing. Is downcast your favorite podcast client, by the way? Yeah, it yeah. is. Okay. Yeah, I like downcast a lot. So you use that. It's, this doesn't have its own podcast capability. Right. So, But what you do is you go ahead and launch the uh, the whatever you want to launch that's audio, right? Yeah. And then you have to run that in the background. So it has to be something that will run audio in the background. All right. And then you launch... Um, Nightstand Central, again, Nightstand Central has to be in the foreground in order for everything to work properly. It mm -hmm. can be in the background for an alarm. There's some limitations. They're mm -hmm. really good at explaining that. But that's, that's how you get around uh, the, the idea of, like, well, what is launched in the foreground? But that's cool because then you end the night looking at your clock. Um, and you can adjust the brightness and stuff like that. That actually doesn't ab adjust the brightness <laughs> of, of the rest of your, uh, the rest really of your iPad settings. That's really pretty. Yeah, it's good stuff. I love Nightstand Central. I mean, I feel like based on... Everything that I want out of an alarm clock and something just, that just looks nice. And by the way, they do like 24-hour um, in Celsius and, you know, all sorts of, you know, military time or whatever you want. It's good stuff. Again, two ninety nine for the fully functional version. If you want to just try it out and see if it's worth $3, you can always download Nightstand Central free, which is also in the App Store and really easy to find. So uh, one of the people who responded to my Google Plus stream was Andy Notko. Oh, Andy. He told me about Emerald Observatory, and he said, my favorite currently is something called Touch 
LCD. Which I've never heard of. Yeah, I hadn't either, uh, but uh, he was echoed by a lot of people. Let me turn up the sound a little bit because this is a talking alarm clock. Well, that sounds like it's singing. I wonder if that's my uh, iPod uh, just playing some music. Let me, let me. What are you listening I don't, to? I don't know. Good grief. There's music coming out of my... Have you ever had that happen? <laughs> it's not the iPad. Maybe it's Spotify. Well, here, just launch launch your tasks oh, it is, and go you know to the what? left. It's Spotify. Oh, I could launch the... Whoops. Oh, Leo. Oh, oh Leo. Stop. Stop. I'm out of control. You're, you're, you need to think about what you're doing. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing now. What do I do? I, if you I, launch your... Double click. Double click. Uh, no, no. Double click your button. Your home button. Double click your home button and bring up your tasks. <laughs> Double click. Come on now. Come on. Work with me. No, no, no. You're all right. You're. That was it. You're, that was the one. I'm. Okay. It's done now. All right. It got stopped. You were listening to Yes. I was. It was their new album. No judgment. I thought they died. Well. I didn't know they. Were, no. I mean, don't. No. I mean, I'm some not, of them may have died. I. I didn't know they were it still alive. Might have been like. It was a long time ago. In excess, where they just get a new singer. It was a long time ago. So this is it. It looks pretty sparse, pretty Spartan, and it is. Oh, he sounds kind of bored. Let me just play that again so you can really, really hear it. He doesn't. He doesn't sound happy about it. The time is two o nine p.m. He sounds like a bored hipster. The time is. But this is a very okay. So, so all you have to do in the middle of the night, you wake up, you want to know what time it is, you just touch it, and it'll and the bored hipster will tell you what time it is any time of the day or night. Okay, but that's not all. <laughs> But wait, there's more. Let's say you want to run a race in the middle of the night. Look, you've got a stopwatch. And so you can you can do the splits, Ooh. all of that stuff. Ooh. Oh, but wait, there's more. Oh. You can also do a timer. So let's say you wake up, it's 2 a.m. and you want a cup of tea. So you set this for, uh, let's say, five minutes. and Because uh, that's how long tea should be, not 52 hours. That's definitely, oh, why not? That's Let's oversteep it and see what happens. <laughs> that's definitely not how long. Clear. Well, this, is, this would be helpful in the kitchen also. Yeah, it's a kitchen timer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so And then you can start it and it will... It's time, right? Tea's ready. Tea's done. Tea's done. World Tea clock, time. World clock. So you got any Ooh. any time zone you want. I made it for like the... This is know. very futuristic. I like yeah. the look of it. And you can see it's a little, it's a little darkened. I mean, it has, uh, it has, of course, a lot of additional stuff, including notifications you can have the buzzer but you have other tones as well you know all of them do these kinds of things um let me let me cancel out of that uh you can have alarm sound when the app is closed you can have an application badge in your notifications you you can have um uh, uh you know if you don't like the display there's lots of lots of different uh uh, typefaces you can choose from. Oh, so that's forth. cool to know. Yeah, yeah I mean, well, I like the futuristic. Uh, yeah, I mean, not lot. Did I say lots? Uh, two. There's two. But uh, <laughs> okay. Well, it's more than one. You can have a screensaver. You get more about the the. You know, you, you want a different uh, voice for the. Now, oh, a that's chick, the female. A chick, a board, I like her already. You like a bored chick? Yeah. The time is. That's the man. The time is two ten p.m. Yeah, I mean, she's more interesting, I guess. I'll leave her. Leave her. Yeah, you can speak time on touch or not. You know, just you kind know. of imagine her as a pretty robot. She'll she'll Works talk every well. hour if you want or not. You know that kind of pretty robot. Um, so anyway, this is Andy likes this. I think it's probably you know because it's very functional. It's kind of like this is this is it. This it does, is what it, does. it does a lot of stuff and it's it's one ninety nine. Cheap. So for two bucks. Uh, that's it. Yeah, that's. I, uh, thank you, Andy. It's I had not heard of Touch LCD, Touch LCD before. I had not either. All right, so third is Nightstand HD, which you said got a lot of thumbs up oh in my, your like, Google Plus entry. Almost half of the people who said they said get this one. The reason that this surprises me is when you go and look at the app it's in the iTunes find. store. Well, it is hard to find because it's two words, night and stand, which is. And it's really it's the one with it. four twenty as the time. That's well, you know. well, right now it's actually just looking at the current time, which is two twelve. You can actually see this little seconds guy moving. But this is one of many, many, many clocks. On and off. It does have a lot of clocks. Yeah. So if you're like, uh, this is not the kind of clock that I want to look at. Don't worry, you have so many options. So yeah. if you want to go to like a very normal world clock, there you go. Um, so there's uh, cool, and you know it gives you all sorts of information about uh, all sorts of uh, clocks. Or you can go classic LCD, which is very similar to what Leo was looking at. I've already put in my loc my current location, so it knows that it's 89 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny. By the way, do you know how lucky we are? The half of the country is like drowning in heat right now. Oh, I know. I was listening to Talk of the Nation today. I'm like, livestock are dying. Old people oh, are you know, covering it, it, covering themselves in I wet know. cloths. It's I'm horrible. 
I really feel for you guys. Stay cool. I'm wearing a wet cloth right now. <laughs> just because just cause you well, want to. Well, I'm cool. Here's just a, kind of this neat binary clock. Uh, if you're into binary stuff, it, you might want to look at this. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I was looking at you again. Well, it's I know. It's it's hard not to. It is. I am it's, breathtaking. It's, uh, it's amazing. But, I, but for our purposes now, the, the clock is better. Okay. So you get, you get the ideas, and you're like, okay, well, clocks are fine and good, but where's the alarm? Down here, uh, it's very iPhone-y type of a situation. You go ahead and add an alarm works like you think it will. Uh, alarm volume, you've got a bunch of sounds to choose from. Uh, you can also choose from your iPod music as well. So a scream. Yeah. Okay. That's, ah, oh. Wake up. Ah, and it'll, it'll give you, oh, let's, wake let's, up. let's listen to that. Ah, that's terrifying. Can you imagine? I wouldn't want, I don't want to wake up to that. I don't want to wake up to that either, but maybe you do. Maybe you have narcolepsy and you just, you really need help getting up once you're down. Can I don't know. Can we look at you again? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. And okay. and, and right. there are Let's some more, more features, um, including math puzzles, which I haven't actually gotten into yet because I don't really know how math uh, comes into the oh, equation here with 19 you're not HD. Awake. You're not fully awake. So, so you understand why they do that? No, I don't. Okay. So you, the alarm goes off, and normally what I would do is go, and right. hit the thing, and you go back to sleep. Yeah. It will not snooze unless you do the math puzzle. <gasps> oh, my so gosh. I love that yeah. because yeah. I need to be forced or I'll never get up. Yeah. Well, you know, our friend Colleen, yes. it's not on an iPad, but on Android, she wrote something called Extreme Alarm Clock that you could set it so that it actually won't go off until you're moving fast enough that she could tell it's, it could tell you're in the car. So it continues to go off Whoa. until you're in the car. That just makes for a very <laughs> stressful morning, doesn't it? Yes. Gosh. Uh, so you, you get the idea. They've got, they've got some more options um, as far as... Sleep music and and w w when good. you want to auto lock and a help menu if you get really lost. But again, the 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 clocks are they're nice. It's it's Can nice, nice stuff to choose from. Because I know yes, I know next we're gonna get the, the the, the oh that's pretty. I like that. That's the Nixie tubes. Isn't that fun? That is really neat. Yeah, it's Thursday. I, 14, that's my 15. favorite. That's my favorite. And ten seconds and eleven seconds. They look like little bottles. I have an extra one to throw in. Okay. Because oh, curveball. You know that I'm a ham now, right? Uh, well, you've always been a ham. I took the test. I have a piece of paper. Oh, that, that says kind I'm a ham. of ham. Yeah, an amateur radio. Got enthusiast. it. Yeah. Hams like this particular one. This is called World Clock Pro because not so much for waking up. And we did. We specify that it would have to be for waking up. Did no. we say that? No, it's just. This is, well, I mean, this we're is focusing a clock on alarms. that will tell you what time it is around the world. It does have alarms. Okay. Um, but hams, when you're talking. Uh, to people around the world, you need to have something. And, you know, a lot of times they bought those old Geochron clocks, those $10,000 clocks that would show you that you don't need that anymore. If you've got an iPad, for a couple of bucks, you know exactly where the Terminator is, where it's night, where it's day. You can put clocks here anywhere you want. They have a variety of clocks. This is like the uh, clock on the wall thing that you saw, you know, you see in TV. And, of course, these are all programmable, what any clock you want. Something. It'll even show you, and this is something hams are used to, um, where you are is where this line is and where they are in relation to you before or after in the time of day. It does have alarms. I can add an alarm at, at any time to any of these clocks. For each time zone, I can have uh, different alarms, select sounds. Of course, it has all sorts of, uh, you know, the usual kind of wild sounds, including Mystic River, Crystal Drops, Digital Nightstand, that kind of thing. So you've got all of that. But I, I have to say, I, I am, I'm really kind of fond of how this looks. And uh, for hams, this is a really great uh, tool. It's like the Geochron clock, only it's not ten thousand dollars. I so, love it. It's, yeah. it's actually only two. It's one ninety nine. Yeah. And that was a re that was a recommendation from uh, from one of our hams. Thank you, hams. Yes. So thank unnamed you. ham. That's World Clock Pro. Pro. And there's a free version of that, I believe, as well. I love all this stuff. I, it's I, what can I say? I, yeah. I'm going to have to figure out how to not wake up to church bells progressively, so that I just dream about them. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll go. Were uh, you having a dream that you were left at the altar? No. It wasn't that kind of? No. It wasn't a bad I dream. I don't. I I would wouldn't be married in the church first was of it, all. Was it your funeral? Did you say, "Ask not <laughs> it was, for whom the bell tolls"? No, it was more of just like me, and and I was like. The, the church bells are ringing, but I dreamt it. The bells. And I didn't wake up the for bells. a while. And finally I was like, ah, I'm, like, I'm late. I like that. I like waking up that way. <laughs> well, with a dream. I do too, unless I'm late. And then it makes uh, everything, it's just it, snowballs it, from there. You, but you, you work for me now. You, you, can't, you can't be late. You no longer have to, you don't punch a clock, do you? No. 
So you don't have to get up at any particular time. Just get up whenever you feel like it. We don't, this th nothing about we're this just, show is on time. We're just gonna just throw it all in a pot. That's basically it. It's the stew. See of, what comes out. The stew of television networks. So you've got some app recaps there. We got uh, Nightstand Central, Touch LCD, Nightstand HD, and then uh, Leo's uh, World Clock Pro, which was our app number four. When it's I kind say, of a wild card. Somebody said. Leo said this app shows you where the Terminator is. I meant that I meant the night day termination line, not the Terminator like Arnold Schwarzenegger, where it tells you where Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's not what it does. I wonder what Arnold Schwarzenegger is doing right he's now. He's making a movie. Really? Yeah, he's back. Oh, he said, Maria, great. pack the bags. We're yeah. going to Hollywood. <laughs> well, she said, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm done with you. If you want all the links to all the apps that we mentioned, uh, Leo mentioned it earlier, you can go to twit.tv slash IPT. That's where we actually have show notes for all of our episodes. And our website is about to change, so those are going to be very more, oh, much more prominent I love the new site. very soon. Yeah. Uh, but we still have them now and for all of our archive shows. And just a reminder, if you're not watching us live, if you're watching us live, thank you. It's so nice to have you. Yeah. But if you're watching us later, you can watch us live if you've got the time on Thursdays at 4.30 p.m. Eastern, 1.30 Pacific. And you can email us too at iPad Today at twit.tv. TV. <laughs> iPad Today is brought to you by our good friends at Citrix who make, of course, go to my PC, which is simply put, the easiest, best, most secure remote access software on the planet. If you are using remote access on your Mac or your PC, You've got to get go to my PC. Of course, it works cross-platform, so you can access a Mac from a PC, a PC from a Mac, and you can access anything from your iPad with the free Go to My PC iPad app. So this is really the solution for an iPad user. I want you to visit Go to My PC right now and get 30 days free. The offer code for this is iPad. G O T O M Y P C dot com. Offer code iPad. You'll put it on your Mac or your PC. Then, before you hit the road, put the uh, iPad app on your iPad or, or on a laptop or whatever. Take it with you. Now you can send and receive email, access any network resource, run any program. All your stuff is there available anytime, anywhere. 128-bit SSL, completely secure. Uh, very fast, by the way, even on a slower network. They do all sorts of smart things to optimize the speed. It is really the best. Go to MyPC.com. Offer code iPad. We thank Citrix and go to my PC for supporting iPad today. So what's been going on in iPad land? Look at you. Well, you know what's kind Look of fun. Look at you. How did you, you know do that? You what's kind of fun is I'm running Google Plus on my iPad, and you're not supposed to be able to do that. I, as soon as they announced the app a couple of days ago, mm -hmm. I immediately went to the iTunes mm -hmm, store mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And on my iPad and said, where is it? And it's not, you can't do it. No, it's iPhone 4. Uh, Only. Yeah, exactly. So... People who uh, who have older iPhones or iPod Touches or iPads were SOL, and I was quite frankly livid about it until I figured out a workaround. And this was actually suggested to me via Google Plus by someone named Todd Prophet. So Todd, We've, thank you so much. We've mentioned Google Plus a couple of times now. We should just briefly mention for those of you who are not on it. Right. It's Google's new social network. That's right. Very popular. 18 million people using it. Uh, that's uh, the it's best quite, estimate. It's quite a hit right now. Yeah, you could think of it as a Facebook alternative, although they're different. But yes, they're, you can compare like the two. Twitter meets Facebook mm -hmm. meets Google Buzz. I like it a lot. You like it, obviously, very we, much so. I mean, look at this. We, you know, when I asked for uh, alarm clock apps, two hundred eighty-two responses in less than an hour. Well, you're one That's of amazing. the well, you're one of the top Google Plus users. So you know, that I have is more followers. Helpful. I have more than eighty thousand followers than I had on Twitter in the first two or three years. I have more than half. My amount of Twitter followers yeah. on Google Plus. I mean, I, I'll have it's Zuckerberg's it's got three hundred thousand well, followers. He's not already, even using it. And he anymore. never posted once. So here's so, the deal. So how do we get this on our iPad? All right. So because it looks good on the iPad. It looks good on the iPad. And now as you, you can, can see, use their web app. This is actually just the iPhone app. All right. So this right. is just. I'm just blowing it up. I'm doing the two X trick. So this that we isn't do on the, a lot this of our isn't apps. the web. This is not the web. This okay. is actually the iPhone app running on my iPad. How did I do it? Okay, it's not actually that hard, but does require a little, you know, a little, uh, you, you got to hunt around a little bit. There, there are a few tutorials online, but the basic idea is you download something on your Mac called iPhone Configuration Utility. That's, there is a PC version as well. Um, I happened to download on my Mac. It took like five seconds to download. Once you open that, you connect your iPad to your computer. Within iTunes, well, no, actually not within iTunes. Within the configuration utility, uh, you you 
you uh, you make sure that the configuration utility is seen in your iPad. It worked very well for me. It was not a problem at all. And then you add um, Google Plus through iTunes on your computer. So you you can download apps onto your computer and then sync them with your iPad later. So that's not something. So you that download do. the iPhone version. That's right. You download the iPhone computer. version onto your computer. Then from your iPhone configuration utility, that's the name of the program. Is that an Apple program? It is. Okay. Yeah, so it's completely it's completely legit. Okay. Uh, you just go ahead and download download that so it's on your system, and then from within iTunes, you sync it to your iPad. For me, it works like a charm. I've been reading a few comments from people. It sounds like people who are on Windows PCs are having weird errors that I didn't get, but some people are having no problems at all. So if it's something that you feel comfortable with... Go ahead and do it because it gives you the app that you wouldn't otherwise have access to. And I mean, quite honestly, I prefer this to the web version half it's, the time. It's pretty good looking. Now well, you can't do everything, everything. You can't do everything you could do in the web version. Yeah, exactly. It's not fully functional. Notifications work though pretty well. Um, and, in and fact, you could do huddles, which you can't do on the web. That's you can right. Only do it. Yeah. There. There's our Twit huddle. Um, I'll tell you one negative of huddles though. You can never close close a huddle. You can never. And and when people ask you to a huddle, strangers ask you to huddle. If it's a group of people, you could say, no, thank you. If it's a one person, you can't. Oh, so if one weird. person invites you into it, it's a bug. They'll well, fix it. they'll figure that out. And that's, yeah, that's, you know. For but now. Huddles is their kind of group messaging feature, which is, it's, it's nice, but it's not ne nearly cooked. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it'll, it'll it's probably replace Beluga for me eventually. It's not quite there yet, but it's really nice to be able to feel like uh, the iPhone version of Google Plus is, is fine, but I'm on my iPad a lot. Right. And why, don't, don't leave me in the cold. I want to be able to run this and it works out really well. So there you have it. And by the way, the link to the, uh, the tutorial that I went through will be in our show notes as well. So if you're like, I have no idea how you did that, don't worry. It's really easy to follow. It's, it's, uh, it's not rocket science. Basically, you got to get the file on your Mac. And then since iTunes will refuse to put it on your iPad, right. you use their configuration tool to move it to the yeah. iPad. That's the it's just a man It's a manual. It's, a, it's yeah. like force install. Manual install. Yep. We had some Apple news this week. I'm sure you guys talked about it at length on MacBreak Weekly. But one of the... Um, one of the graphs that got to me was the fact that iPads are making up more of Apple's revenue now than Macs. They are huge. huge. And it really isn't that much of a surprise if you think about it. This is the future of computing. But these numbers uh, really prove it. So the black bar is Macs. Yeah. The gray bar is iPads. Now notice in June 2010, of course, they were selling twice as many Macs. This is in revenue, in dollars, actually in billions of dollars. Then they were iPads. Completely shifted June 2011. Look what sold more in terms of revenue. Well, and that's a significant thing because the iPad is half as expensive as the cheapest Mac. And what's interesting is that the Macs, it's not as if Macs are falling off greatly. No, it's they're that, not, it's that the Is that iPads the iPads? With the exception of March. March was sort of that's a weird we month. That's because we knew a new one was coming. Oh, you're right. That's yeah. exactly why. We didn't why. want it because we were waiting for the new one. That's true. Yep. That's true. That mm -hmm. makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. But it's you know it's kind of crazy. So everybody who said, ah, uh, passing fad. Ugh, who wants not that? Not a passing fad. Many people want it. Leo, are you a uh, ATT U-verse Comcast Dish or Sudden Link cable customer? I was a Comcast customer. Actually, I will be today and tomorrow. What is that? What? I canceled them. <gasps> Are you a cord cutter? No. Oh. I still have Comcast cable. I just canceled them for data because I, uh, I the caps were killing me. Mm, but you still have Comcast. I have Comcast TV. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, that's what we're talking about because the CNN app, this actually is something that kind of bugs me because I am now a recent cord cutter. Therefore, oh, you can't use this it. does not apply you to me. You can't use it. But it does apply to you, Leo. Does now, you know why they did this? And I know because at Tech TV, we had the same problem. You cannot stream tech TV. We couldn't stream tech TV without the approval of the cable channels. Right. Because if you streamed it, then nobody would buy a cable subscription. Right. So the way the HBO Go works and now the way that CNN works, if you want to watch streaming on your iPad, is you have to be a customer. You have to log into your cable account. That way they don't lose a customer. So the, 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 the short of it is if you have one of these uh, cable agreements, and it's not everybody. I mean, Time Warner Cable is not part of this, but 
but some of the, you know, a lot of people this will apply to. Up in the upper right-hand corner, there's a live TV button in the CNN app. Okay, well, there always was that. And when there's a live event, which there isn't right now, although there was earlier when the, when the shuttle had launched, they were just kind of showing a live stream. That's something that everyone can access. But now you've got some other CNN uh, programs to choose from. We've got CNN Live TV right now. And then, well, Headline News you Live as well. You can watch CNN 24-7 That's live right. now. Now, what, what you see here is unlock and watch. And so I go, okay, let's do that. And at this point is where I have to, I say, I'm a Comcast subscriber, right. which is not true. Well, uh, but you need to log in. And that's in, where so. they'll get me, yeah, because yeah. you, you can't get that far because you'll eventually you have login. to log in. Well, I don't. What's to stop me from doing that? I don't know. I wonder if they, if they limit you to a certain amount of devices. Maybe. yeah. It's hard to say. HBO Go works that way too. But in that, don't, don't blame uh, uh, CNN in this case. That's just their cable. Uh, they're license just deal. they're trying to give you CNN everywhere. And we these were, are their, uh, their I would have loved uh, to put the screensavers on the web in full, but the cable companies wouldn't let us. Mm -hmm. In fact, they would only let us put ten minutes from any given show online. No more than ten minutes. Uh, of any yeah, given I remember. Yeah, I mean there are a lot of shows that still are just they're just a bunch of clips. Yeah, you may wonder. I mean, well, why doesn't Martha Stewart Television or or CNN? Why don't they just stream on the internet? Everybody could see them that way. Well, that's why. Yeah. That's exactly why. But if you are one of these cable subscribers to uh, cable TV and you watch a lot of CNN, definitely check and see if you can also watch CNN to go because it'll just be really helpful. You that's, know, if you're an Xfinity customer. This or whatever. is exactly. This is this is exactly. Uh, why cable television is 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 stuck? What are you playing? A little uh, little Rasta music. You don't mind, do you? No, not at all. You know, I wanted to talk about something that was. What are you playing? <laughs> I'm just locking into Comcast. <laughs> don't ask. Weird. Don't Weirdo. Ask. CNN app for iPad. It's fantastic. It's good. To, well, it's it's better than it ever was. As a cord cutter, I, I feel thrilled. a little out of the loop but whatever i can still watch live events that cnn you know you you, you there cnn does a fair amount of live stuff online that's streaming video so good stuff for them leo did you hear about the fake apple stores in china i did i did <laughs> they were so real that the employees at the fake apple store they didn't know that they weren't working at apple they thought they were working for apple computer yeah did you did you see some of the pictures uh i have it you have them on here yeah 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 oh, let me let I, me see i gotta see this because uh, i mean this was in a small town. It wasn't like in Beijing or anything. This is in a town called Kunming. Kunming. And uh, yeah, this is actually a blogger. It who does had, look uh, like an Apple store. We we talked about this on TNT yesterday, and we were laughing because it's like you know it, everything looks really good. It looks really it looks just look like an Apple store, except that then you run into some some sort of weird spelling issues in well, certain areas because which is the it. giveaway they're even, they're even wearing the, like the apple looks like stuff. an apple employee so anybody who's just listening to the audio stream we're looking at a bunch of pictures at what looks like a very authentic apple store in a town in china now the blogger who had put all these pictures together thought you know i just didn't know that there was an apple store in my town that's kind of random he said it was a little odd because it's such a small town yeah um but but he made it he said i think it's real yeah Here's what here, well, here's what's weird about it. a couple of giveaways. It. First of all, Apple Store. Store that never happens. No. Never says Apple Store. And by the way, when uh, he or she, I, I'm actually is it he, when they w went outside, it turns out that there's like a similar store just down the street. <laughs> it looks just like this one. <laughs> so Apple doesn't have two stores in this so there, town. Yeah. So there's and there there's Amazing. one. Now, are these real iPads? No. Oh, look, that's look, good. S T O E R. O E R. Yeah. It's very kind of the but, Nordic. But these thing. are not, this is all knockoffs. Is it? Yes. How do you know? That's what they said. Oh, they did. So these are the, products that are these just These aren't even close real enough. iPad 2s. Oh, these my gosh. These are knockoff iPad 2s. You almost have to give them credit for going a lot at, of initiative. to such lengths to sure, make Sure, they could everything. sell these off the back of a truck. But why not really... <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I mean, I, I was saying yesterday, Apple, I mean, this store is going to be open for like four more hours before it shut know. down forever. No. Well, you, that's what the guys were saying on TNT. They were like, I no, don't know, will it? No, you don't know China. In Beijing, you can go into a department store, perfectly legitimate department store, the basement of the department store, any movie you ever wanted, any piece of software you ever wanted, buck ninety nine, two dollars Because they don't care. All pirated, they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. And it's pirated, so it's like... Well, it's, it's all it, they're stolen. knockoff, so it's not it's like all it's all illegal. Wow. It's crazy.
crazy. So, I mean, I, I, I'm, I wouldn't be convinced that they're going to shut it down. I'm sure Apple will pull strings, but uh, I wouldn't be convinced that they can shut it down. I think that I'd like to go to this fake <laughs> Apple store. I mean, I'd like the look of it. It looks like a really pleasant place. I like Apple stores in general. It's I try Apple to visit Steer. an Apple store in you know in new cities when I go there for the first go time. Go to the Apple store. The Steer. Apple store. Yeah. And, uh, and I'll buy myself an iPad 2 knockoff, maybe in pink <laughs> or green. Something like that. So, I mean, yeah, it's that possible was, that, that was these kind are real iPad 2s, but I, 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 why bother with that? Well, and, and if they were to get them, then what would the price be? Yeah, right. that, that's, no, no, why bother? They're just, you know, some, you know somebody in China makes an exact copy of the iPad 2. They don't need to be real. Just get it. It is the capital and the largest city of the Yunnan province. Kunming. In southwest China. Okay. Uh, I'm just wondering, actually, how big is it? Is is it? Let me look in the. Wikipedia. I know we're saying small town. It's like small towns in China. There are can no have small towns. Many, in many, China. many thousands yeah. of people. Uh, the uh, the population is 6.8 million. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small town like New York City is a small it's a small town. Small town that's about the size of <laughs> six San Franciscos. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah. China, it's just a very minor city. China has suburbs. Out right. in the middle of nowhere that are too many that are, people. Yeah. That are, you know, three-year-old towns, so it's not... You We're know. sorry for calling your town small. It's obviously very big. <laughs> Six point uh, There's million. room for many fake Apple stores in your town. <laughs> <laughs> when you got a billion people, 6.8 million here or there, no big deal. Do they get Netflix in China? Oh, no. no. Bummer. Not real it's Netflix. It's a pretty good service. Oh, man. You know, if you're watching in China, maybe you should go to Netflix.com slash twit and sign up for... <laughs> a free 30-day trial. Exactly. Why not? And then you could duplicate it. Ex no, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you all know about Netflix. I watch it every night. So last night, Abby and I were in the mood for a laugh. She said, eh, I feel like watching The Office. So what did we do? We watched four episodes. It's like eating candy, commercial-free, Office, streaming on my Roku. And then she said, let's watch The Office UK. And so we watched Ricky Gervais in The Office. Parks and Rec. That's, that's the office I like the most. I love the British office. If you haven't seen that, get it. You Let get me it. in. Ooh, Ooh spooky no vampire movie. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, Bruce but I'll, Lee. I'll, I'll, I'll go with the... Uh, with, uh, I like the documentaries. Monarchy. What's... Tudor expert at BBC personality. Who's Sling Blade? Uh, yeah. I'm calling it a Sling Blade. Yeah, why yeah. not? Sure. So, Secretariat, that actually was a pretty good movie. How about it? Sherlock the series? Oh. Man, I love the people are ranting and raving about that. Uh, this show. is the new one. Uh, I have every Sherlock Holmes series on my Netflix streaming. So this is the deal: seven dollars ninety nine cents a month, unlimited, Xbox three hundred and sixty, PlayStation three, Nintendo Wii, laptops, Roku boxes, and of course, iPhone, iPad. In fact, the, this is, makes the iPad like the ultimate entertainment device. Anywhere you can get online, you can watch any of these movies. Less than eight dollars a month. Why aren't you a member? Oh, you are? Oh, all right. Could you tell Grandma about it? Uncle Ed? Somebody in your family surely is not yet a Netflix member. Help us out. Help us help you. Tell them. 30 days free. Netflix.com slash twit. They will thank you for it. They will. And now, it's ladies true. and gentlemen, the Mixolodian Mirage. Hey everybody, and welcome to the Mixolodium Mirage. I'm Sarah Lane, and I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> what is it? But I do know that, well, this is actually called Morph Whiz. Uh -huh. And this was uh, suggested by Dave. He wrote into us, and he's, he said he's an amateur musician, and mm. he just loves Morph Whiz. He wanted us to do a theme on music, which we'll do. We will do. Oh, that's we'll, next. We'll definitely that's do. That's due, for sure. But I had not heard of Morph Whiz before, and so I said, okay. Well, let's, let's, you know. Let's, let's play a little more for Yeah, well, let's see. Okay, so this is the creator. His name is Jordan uh, Mr. Rudis. Rudis. Mm -hmm. And this is him playing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. So I was like, oh, this looks like a really cool app, you know? It looks like anybody could do this. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of like a zither meets the, uh, what is that electronic instrument? The uh, theremin. Zither meets it is theremin. Sort of theremin. Yes, theremin. Yeah, it's theremin. -y. You play it like a like zither, a... but it sounds like a theremin. That's still him playing somewhere over the rainbow because he's awesome. No, this is uh, it would be it would be very silly for me to try to play somewhere over the rainbow or anything that is actually a but, song. But it, this looks well, like an interesting instrument. But you know what? This is not. This is a really cool app. I had a lot of fun just playing around with all of my. Uh, it's just I don't know different different uh, presets that you can actually load that they they give you that like give you like different instruments like a uh, ooh the uh, Dark Rider for example. Okay, let's do Dark Rider and see what that sounds like. 
So you get you get different uh, instrument choices. You can also. I also have this really weird view right now. It shouldn't actually look so dark. It's all right. We'll just watch this guy. You just watch that guy. Yeah, he's good stuff. Um, but uh, oh, there's my display. I'll ch I'll change my display. Now my display is. I have to say that his uh, his judgment is cast somewhat into doubt by the fact that a because it's somewhere over the rainbow he has a first generation ipad in an apple original apple case and he's playing somewhere over the rainbow hey man Plus he's trying beer. to tug at your heartstrings it's not his fault that you're dead inside <laughs> i'm dead now you're dead now so anyway <laughs> dead, i dead i wanted to my I wanted what is this i wanted well this is the i just changed the view because it, i had a weird view before maybe you could play for the parade yeah maybe That'd be nice. So this is, uh, you know, this is like my C, and you can, you can change the area on the piano. If I got piano. like a really big loudspeakers rolling on a table or something, you could just play. Yeah, right. No, oh, I mean, oh, I have I cool. have no talent at all. So the, this is the, cool. The, the point wasn't to be like, here, I'm going to compose something really amazing on the show. What I like about it is I played around with this for a couple of hours and made like some like stupid loops mm -hmm. and just created just a bunch of junk. If you have musical talent, this is a really amazing program. It's nine ninety nine. So for ten bucks, you have something that's that, pretty neat. Yeah, you have, some, you cool. have something that you ha that has a lot of capability. Yeah. If you've got a kid, and you just you know maybe maybe they've shown musical inclinations already, or they're just driving you insane. I mean, this is such an easy program to just let them play around in because you have so many just weird options. You can play around with pitches and scales and and attacks. Maybe you could find like a, a bagpipe note decay speed a bagpipe type of yeah that sort of thing. I mean you can create a lot of stuff. And if you're just somebody that's curious about this sort of stuff, I had not heard of this before. Morph Wiz, created by somebody who knows what he's doing. Obviously, you saw him playing somewhere over the rainbow, and that's at morphwiz.com. He has um he has a few apps that he's put together, but this is kind of the coolest one. So thanks again to Dave who wrote in and said, I like it. I'm a musician, and I like it. Even better. Let's thank Steve for solving a conundrum. I did not know how to do this. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I it actually. It does involve jailbreaking. It does. So. And sometimes people ask us, why don't you talk about. We could. We, apps. I'm not but, a big fan of jailbreaking. Well, the problem is, is that it just, it messes things up. Right. You know, it's like, then it's Apple will patch it, and then it'll get broken again, and it's like, it's, it we could it get, requires it, you to think about a lot of You know, stuff. I know Sorek. I've met him a couple of times. Uh, the guy who does Cydia, the which is one of the big yeah. jailbreak. Uh, the whole point of jailbreak an iPhone or an iPad is not uh, really for much anything else but, but to buy stuff from other stores, to get apps that Apple won't let you have. That's right. So uh, a couple of episodes ago, I guess it was last episode, Tom sent us an email saying he and his wife both wanted to browse two different iPads up on the screen, right? He wanted it on the big screen, and they would both control it? Yeah, and we both said, well, you could mirror it, but then only one person is going to... I was skeptical. Yeah. Apparently, you can do it. Yeah, it turns out, so Jeff, or I'm sorry, not Jeff, Steve wrote in and said, episode 54, you were talking about Tom wanting to have two iPads. Let's say you wanted to shop together, sit side by side, but you both wanted to be able to touch the screen, and the screens would would have the same uh, display. It's contents. So, so you've got ever jointly looking at a site together. Right, yeah. yeah. Turns out jailbreaking could be your answer. So step one, if you jailbreak just one of the iPads, you could do both, but only one is necessary. And he said jailbreakme.com worked for him. Then you install a free VNC remote desktop server. He used VNC. This is via mm -hmm. Cydia. Yeah. And then step three, use the other iPad to remote into the first, and that can be via any of the available VNC client apps. Oh. We've talked about a few. He says his favorite is iTeleport. So that way, one app, one iPad is the master where your site is, but you both can control it from yeah. your uh, individual iPad. He said sometimes the speed can be a little bit choppy, right. VNC connection. That's typical of VNC. Yeah. But if that's really what they want to do, it is possible. And then he said, "Cheers, guys. Cheers, All Steve. Right. Cheers. Yeah, good stuff. So if, you, if you're if you're into jail, if you're not into jailbreaking, d don't worry about this. This is probably this is kind of very specific thing that that Tom wanted You'd to do to in their do last show. Yeah. But you can you can get around the, the limitations. And thanks to Steve for reminding us that if you're familiar with jailbreaking and you're comfortable and you want to play around a little bit, you can do it. I um, love that, Steve. He's good. But you know who I love even more? Who? That Max. That Max." 
Keep Who's going. Max? You'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, love that Max, right? I love that Max. Well, so this is actually an email that we got from um, Kathleen Rinks, who has written us before. She's she's at Kate in Oregon. And she um, brought my attention to a rather horrible story about an autistic... Um, okay, so how do I say this straight? A guy who was uh, was going to be selling or, or auctioning off iPads that were um, loaded up with a bunch of apps that were going to be really helpful for kids who had learning disabilities. Right. Autistic kids, we've talked right. about before, really take to iPads in certain situations and they really help them learn. Like Max. That's right. So this... Uh, this, the story was, and this is actually, th this blog post that we're looking at now is explaining what had happened. Somebody on the internet had sort of said, listen, we're going to be, you know, if you can enter to win an iPad. It's a it's special be, needs iPad giveaway. Yeah, and it's going to be loaded with all this stuff, and, and, if, you, and if you win, your kid's going to get this, this, just this awesome tool, and it's really going to bring them out of their shell. And a bunch of people had donated money, mm -hmm. and, and it turns out that, the money got collected, and no iPads were given mm, to anybody. Scammer. Very just, and and That's I. That's just horrible. Yeah, and I don't want to say I I understood what happened. This is just what I've been told was a situation that happened. So you know, if it was indeed a scam, it's just really bad, and it sounded like it really upset a lot of people, and people were were so disappointed. Um, and at lovethatmax.com, there was a team that that wrote, well, "Here's what happened. Here's the situation." And if you're interested um, in you know helping out. These people. Uh, we'll definitely add the link into our show notes as well and just get a sense of the, the thing is, is I, I don't think people understand how how much these these have become tools for people, not just kids, but but people with special needs. Yeah. This is a special needs tool extraordinaire. And I thought just because and thank you, Kathleen, by the way, um, for just bringing our attention to stuff like this. I mean, it's really it's awful that people um, want these tools so much. And let's face it, this is a really expensive tool. Uh, the iPad loaded with a bunch of apps. I mean, five hundred dollars worth of apps is, you know, that turns into a thousand dollar little toy for a kid who needs it really uh, needs it really badly. Um, this is, we don't know really what happened here, right? But I can tell you from reading this blog post, it's pretty suspicious. I don't. I think this was a scam. It sounds like a scam, and the people who are familiar with the giveaway right. say that it's a scam. There's no proof, but it sounds scammy. What I thought that so we could do. You no, know, if somebody's doing this, right? Don't give people money unless you really know what you're up to. And these are real charities. And this was always a little bit like, trust me. And well, when you do that, it's, and you know, in this community, that people are very trusting of one another because they're in the same boat. Yeah. What I found that was um, kind of touched my heart was that there are so many people, uh, especially in this community, and obviously who are familiar with the iPad and know that there it, there's a lot of good stuff out oh, there that's so helping great. a lot of people. So great. Yeah. So I thought at least we could because. I, I am not a special needs expert, so I wouldn't be able to say, you know, off the top of my head, what are good special needs apps. But I know a lot of people who watch the show are experts because you guys sometimes suggest apps or you ask us to do a show theme. So let's... Should we do that? Let's say... I know of at least one app that's amazing. You that do? Lets you, yeah. It lets you communicate for, for a, a person who can't communicate, can't sp either can't speak or has other difficulties. They have pictures on the screen of the iPad, and they can spell out sentences. The oh, iPad cool. does it for them. It is amazing. So there, there are some amazing applications. So out there. please write in uh, iPad Today at Twit.tv some of your suggestions. You can call us. You could leave us a video even too. That that would all be fine. Um, and we'll put together some of your picks for special needs apps. And obviously, Leo, you will we'll include the one that you just told me about because it sounds awesome. Right. And and we'll get some good stuff going. So I mean, we can't. We can't... Uh, Not next week. I don't think we're going to have time to do it next week, but next, soon. Next week is going to be up. a weird show because we'll be in our studio for the first time. But yeah. yeah, within the next month, we'll do something on this because it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a topic I've stayed away from a little bit because I go, I don't want to we, suggest experts. something because I don't know what I'm talking about. We'll get you an guys. expert. We will get an expert and you guys are experts. So Absolutely. We'll, we'll look to you for your uh, guidance. So thanks again to Kathy in Oregon for bringing our attention to something that is mm -hmm. uh, it's really important that's for sad. us to remember. It yeah, is. That's sad. Yeah, but I want to help people as much as possible. 99.9% .9 of people are great. Great and honest and wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then there's one or two every once in a while, one in a thousand, that are just... They're just 
They poo, don't, poo they're heads. missing something. I don't know what it is. Right. So we'll we'll you know let's let's band together and get some good good ideas flowing. Uh, again, iPad today at twit.tv. You can leave us a voicemail seven five seven five zero four IPAD or for extra points, send us a video. Anthony did at the top of the show. Try to keep your video thirty seconds or less. Works really well for us, and it can be a question or comment, just anything. Upload the video somewhere, send us the link, YouTube, Vimeo, so on and so forth. Just don't send us a video that we have to download because we won't be able to do that. No. I'm going to get my app cap ready, Leo. Get your cap on, and I'm, I'm going to tell everybody to. about the secret behind exceptional websites. Of course, I'm talking about squarespace.com. If you always thought, boy, I wish I had a blog, I wish I had a website that I could post to, monitor, moderate, get stats for on my iPad, this is it. Squarespace. First of all, Squarespace is hosting. Plus, the best content management system out there. It is the, the two together are just sweet. I want you to try it for free. Go to squarespace.com, click the green Try It Free button. You can set up a site in seconds. All you need is a name for a site, a password, and an email address, and you're ready to go. Take a look at the examples to see the broad variety of things you can do. By the way, with no coding, no HTML, no CSS, no JavaScript, just these great templates and their point and click little widgets that allow you to do amazing things. Every Squarespace site is unique, but at the same time, every Squarespace site is running on the great Squarespace backend, the best hosting, the best software. Try it free today, squarespace.com. Click the Try It Free button. And if you decide you want to buy, here's the deal. Use the offer code IPAD today, and you'll get 10% off for the first six months of your site. Sites as low as 10 or 11 bucks a month, depending on how long you subscribe. And it is, I mean, can I, you, you, can't, you, you cannot bring down a Squarespace site. It's that good. Always secure, rock solid. Squarespace.com. Use the offer code IPADTODAY and the number seven to save 10% off for the first six months of your Squarespace site. Think Squarespace. of all you could do in six months. Well, so you know, posts, the first two weeks, you can really so create a pictures. great site. Oh, yeah. And, all those and no Twitter cost or no obligations. And... Yeah. And then if you decide, I think this is a good site, like my, my ham site, my, you know, because I'm becoming a ham. Right. The ham site, <laughs> I have my call letters, actually, my tentative, my provisional call letters, and I set up a Squarespace site right away. So I'd reserve that. And then if when I get the call letters, and I can, um, it's just so great. I love it. No cost for the first two weeks. It's good stuff. First I mean, I, 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 and many of you know that I, and by the way, this is my app cap, so I know. It's amazing. It's actually very hot. It's from Uruguay, you know. It is. I, I brought it back from Uruguay. Well, I'm wearing it. It's it fits me like a glove. Um, can, you, can you tell? Uh, I don't know if you could tell where my my app cap comes from. Connecticut. Yes. How do you know? <laughs> this is what all the Yaleys wear. Yeah, of course. Rastaman. Well, you know. Vibration air. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Still. You're like you're like one of the whalers. Little darling, <laughs> <laughs> steer it up. We do the app cap as a way of celebrating. We celebrate apps. Great we, apps. There are so many apps out there, and sometimes they don't belong in a theme. They 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 might be weird. They might be awesome. They, they might, might be, be off the wall. They might be giants. And for whatever reason, we say we're gonna put some hats on, and give them some applause. This is the second week in a row. <laughs> But this has been fair. What? That we've overlapped the app cap because I was going to do that one <gasps> until I got your you email. You know about my app cap? I love this. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So if anyone's like, just tell us already. This is the fantastic flying books of Morris Lessmore. If you're like, what is that? This is an ex Pixar animator. His name is William Joyce, who put this app together. And this is. Um, as look at this as Pixar e you know for anybody a who's, kid a, would love who's a fan of Pixar um is, is Pixar e as as anything and uh, so I'm I'm actually it's reading it I'm, to you yeah I'm gonna look, turn off his, all this his other voice stuff. just for our purposes but yes yeah, so you can turn voices on and off you can turn uh the music on and off there's music playing in the background it might be kind of hard to hear you can turn the words on and off well actually that goes back to my main menu you can turn uh the words on and off uh, the text, if you just wanted to actually watch it like a movie, mm -hmm. you know, and have it read to you. But the whole idea is that this is an interactive book, and you can kind of see there's little um, there's little arrows that's, you know, kind of like 
okay, why don't you go ahead and turn the page? So then we get into sort of the story. And what, what it does is it gives you little hints as to whether it's time to turn the page, because this is, again, I have the, 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 the text turned off, but it's, it's, it's telling me the story. So I'll just go ahead and go to the next page. Why aren't you turning? Whoops. Oh, it's telling me to do something. This is something a kid would just flip. Oh, yeah, totally. Words. Look at this. Look at this. It comes Woo! alive. Yeah. So it's got these great traditional children's book so illustrations, it's but half they come alive. very pixar -y type of a movie yeah. and half book, but it's very interactive. So so it's like, ooh, what do I do here? Ooh, I can just turn it the other way. Oh, the, the house. And I'm going to go behind back. Ooh, neato. That sort of thing. Winds blue and blue. And then he's running. And I'm kind of getting like fixated on the story now but the idea is so is that fun. yeah i mean it's just it's imagine you know a kid a kid would have so much fun here and here's actually is this the part with the book <laughs> yeah i know i know it's it's awesome so okay here's 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 sort of where an interactive element uh comes in because you might be like i'm not really sure what's going on so you can see here that the the door is sort of pulsing. It's kind of hard to see, but it is. It's kind of glowing white, and you can hear some knocking, and then the story progresses. So there are certain areas where if this was, I mean, hey, if you're an adult and you like this sort of thing, and then here you see like the page turning, then you're just going to love this because it's beautiful. But if you're a kid, it really does force a child to be somewhat interactive so they can watch it, maybe they could watch it through once, you know, you could help them along. And then they could play it over and over because you can do kind of fun stuff, you know, like I'm, I'm writing stuff on the books, the, the, this, the part of the story is, is that the wind was blowing so hard, even the words were falling off of his Look book. Look at that, you could do that. Yeah. What I like is it's forever, kind of really. the old and the new. I mean, it really feels very old fashioned. It, it actually should because the guy who did the book, um, you probably don't remember this, but I read this book to my kids called George Shrinks and mm -hmm. it, this is the guy who did George Shrinks. Oh, I didn't know. He was a New Yorker that. cartoonist and just an amazing children's book author. And then they match this up with this Pixar cape quality animation and and games and fun. So you get a great, really wonderful traditional children's literature. And look at that. I and, know. And kids just love it. It's awesome. This. I'd say anywhere from maybe uh, I'm five or six color into his life. to uh to eleven, ten or eleven. Until yeah. they get cynical. Right. But right up to that point. And, and little kids could, could absolutely play with this. In fact, even down to two and three with a little lap time. This I mean, is it, such a great point. Yeah, it really, it's like, it really, really gets beautiful. Look at how beautiful that is. I know. Yeah, and it's, well, and now I, I went back there. to the there's beginning. A lot of, a lot of it, that's okay. I don't mind looking at it again. I was trying to go back to the, you can go, you can switch through chapters, you know, if your kid really likes this one chapter. Oh, Megan, let's go back to the library, that sort of thing. You know, you can quickly jump that. to certain a areas. A kid could just sit and look at this for hours. Seriously. And I mean, think of all the kids who are so used to the way that Pixar looks yeah. that it's like they'll just yeah. automatically be drawn to something like oh, this. Right if away. you're wondering how much is Mr. Morris Lessmore, the book, it's four ninety nine. It's actually less than I thought it would be. I yeah. mean, I, it could they could charge... 10 easy for that. Yeah, or yeah. 8. I wouldn't yeah. have blinked at that. 4.99. Not and bad. yeah, I know. I, I really really I, I had had a lot of fun playing around with this. Very I mean, interactive books. You, we've talked about them before on the show. They're not new, but this is the best looking one I have seen by far. And it's and it's fun too. There you have it. Mr. Look, Morris Lesmore. Sorry, I stole your app cap. Smile. Hey. Yeah. What are we doing? This is paper camera. <gasps> paper camera. I love this. Look at yeah. so this the idea of paper camera is first of all, okay. First, let me say a couple of things. Okay. Crappy camera in the iPad too. We all know that. We know that. So you're not going to use a, a a tool that want you want to take great pictures with, but this is perfect because it takes pictures and makes some cartoons or drawings or pastel drawings or whatever. Uh, first of all, I love the interface. This looks like a crumpled piece of paper. It totally does. These are the different uh, cameras, Comic Boom, uh, SketchUp. So I like that. So now that's live. That's the camera. So this makes a pencil drawing out of whatever I take a picture of. Look at that. Oh, neat. And of course, you have sliders that you can you change the, the, is the it look. Is it just still photos or does it take video? Uh, I, no, it's just still as far as I know. Maybe it is. Oops, it's upside, I'm upside down. I'm You're upside back. down and it's right sideways <laughs> and upside. By the way, one thing I like, every camera app on the iPad should do this. It doesn't rotate because you the oh, camera's that can be here. So annoying. The camera's yeah, here and right. you want it to always be there. Yeah. 
So un unlike some apps, which will, you know, rotate, so, and I yeah. think you're supposed to maybe according to the rules, but it sh a camera app should always be one orientation because you always want the camera there. Yeah, you want to know where you're... You want to know where you're pointing for yeah, crying out loud. exactly. And, and my hand is always over the camera anyway. So lots of different... This is uh, Acarello, so it's got a little color in it. And you can use the front-facing camera printer. or the it's, back. Oh, yeah. Should, you want to see yourself? Sure. Say hi. Hi. So um, this is a dot matrix. Isn't that great? It's really cool. And then you can obviously import photos like you, sure. you took pictures. Sure. Very nice, straightforward interface. It, you know, you couldn't, it couldn't be simpler. Um, I can't remember how to get to the... Uh, well, I guess it goes to the camera, uh, the library, so... Right. Should I show you some pictures I took? Yeah. Granny's paper. Look at that, even with, even with that simple thing. So let me go and... Uh, so you, so but to, how do you import photos? That's my question. It says you can import them? Well, I mean, you're taking pictures, but... Oh, I see. You just take them in the app, and then they go to your camera roll, and that's where you I see. I think everything. that's how it works. That yeah. must be how it works. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that makes if sense. I can find my ca my, uh, my, your, my your camera, photos. my photos. Yeah, that's a tough one. I usually just go back to my search and, and I know because I never photos. I never use uh, I know. this for a camera. This is the first app I've seen first world that I probably right would. Here. Photos. Did I spell it right? Photots. No, you don't. Photos. Want photos. There we go. There you go. So let's see. They'll be all in the gallery here. Down in the bottom, I bet. Oh, down in the bottom. Ooh, sketchy the stuff. bottom so low. Hang your head over. Oh, neat. So pretty? those were some guests from Oops. earlier. Yeah. That's me. You look really good. I know. Surprising, huh? Yeah. That's me with my thumb on the lens, by the way. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's me without that my thumb on like the lens. like you. I think that this is just a very... And look, at you don't. what you don't say is, oh, I could tell that was taken... <laughs> oh my gosh! I could tell that was taken. Oh, uh, Grandma with, Death! <laughs> Grandma Death in the house with, a, uh, with an iPad. I mean, can, can we look at like? Oh my gosh! Like that would scare. That wasn't kids. the most flattering uh, uh, thing. But see, look how it turned wow. my uh, my screen into a drawing. I I just think this is really slick. Very nice piece of software. No, this is this is and, it, and guess what? Definitely 99, a lot of fun. Ninety nine cents. Ninety nine cents. cents. 99 cents. What's not to like about that? Well, it's the first app that I actually would use on the iPad. Uh, I got 99 pictures. cents, and Paper Camera is an it's app one. that I bought. It's not one. It is one. Now I don't have 99 cents anymore. <laughs> I don't know. You are a bad rapper. Sarah Z, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> right, in right, the house. Yeah. SZ. Pa paper Ooh. Camera, the name of it. That's it for our show. We're only half an hour late. That's not so bad. Hey, it's our last show in the studio. You knew something was going to go <sighs> askew. We're going to do it in the living room set next week on the brand new Brick House Studios uh, with jib shots, with color, with we high are def. A brick. House. Ah. I was thinking for the opening. Yeah. Or maybe we could have that for the parade. Could you play Brick House on that magic theremin thing? <laughs> Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Would you play I'm it? sure by next Thursday <laughs> I'll have that Sarah down. Going, a brick house. I could maybe just play a MIDI file. Okay. <laughs> as we march down the last episode, and we've been doing this all week as we one by one go through our shows, the last show from the cottage. This is it. The last iPad today from the old cottage. We've had a good 55 show run here. We're going to take um, everything with us, but if there's one thing you would like to leave in the cottage, one thing you just don't want to bring to the new studios, you just like to leave here. Yeah. Would there is there anything you can think of that I wouldn't want to that bring? That you wouldn't want to bring, that you don't need, that you don't want. I don't want this chair I'm sitting in. Take that and throw it out the window. I'm going right now. to. I hate this chair. Take this hat and shove it. You know what? I ain't working here no more. I'm out. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this episode, the last episode from the cottage of iPad Today. I am Leo Laporte. I'm she Sarah Lane. Is Bouncy Sarah Lane. That's right. <laughs> we'll Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on iPad Today. Oh.